I just remember my first time, my mom swam out. She shoved me into a wave. I was still on my belly, but it was like magic. I got back to my mom. She goes, you want to do that again? I go, yeah. She goes, OK, this time try to stand up. I thought, wow, I'm home. When I was 20 years old, yoga came into my life. And it was the foundation of my development as a surfer. The pipeline was fierce, you know. We wanted to bite you. Most of the people at Pipeline have got their hearts in their throat. And there was Jerry Lopez sitting in the full lotus position, meditating. For your mind to be still, your breath has to be still. Your body must be still. You have to be at peace with this wave. Jerry's just this mellow guy on shore. He's in this tiger shark out in the water. Every kid across America wanted to be Jerry Lopez in a tube. Shit, this is Hollywood calling, man. Jerry Lopez went from that pure source to being the most commercialized surfer in the world. Losing focus is easy, but I was born to be a surfer. So I went down to the southern tip of Java. I found the best waves of my life. The solitude of that place really had a profound effect on me. It was a surfing monastic existence. This was the beginning of me and the waves becoming one. The ocean is very yin. The mountains are the yang side, but that's where the stillness is. The whole move to the mountain was part of my path of life. You know, I've come to realize that health and harmony are created when yin and yang are in balance. We're only here for a short time. You have to find some peace within you. 